Hello lovelies! Today I'm going to show you two very quick and easy vintage hairstyles. And all that you will need is a brush, some hair elastics and lots of bobby pins. So the hairstyles that I'm going to show you today are actually two of my absolute favorite go-to hairstyles. And I'm wearing those hairstyles when I'm either too lazy to comb my hair or my hair is already a little bit dirty or I just don't have enough time in the morning. They're both perfect when you have a little bit longer hair just like me but I would say like the minimum that you should have is like shoulder length. But please don't count me on that. I'm not 100% sure. I think you just try it out and see if it works for you. The first hairstyle is this wonderful version of a chignon. There are many, many different ways to create a chignon, but today I'm going to show you my way. That Frank Sinatra reference. Basically, chignon means that your hair is arranged in a knot or a roll on the back of your head. If you look through the photographs, movies or magazines from back then, you can definitely say that the chignon has been a very popular hairstyle for a very long time. It has been worn in the 30s, 40s and 50s and many different variations. But all in all, I think the chignon is a very classy and timeless hairstyle and perfect for your vintage inspired look. Anyhow, long story short, I'm now going to show you how to create a chignon. First of all, you obviously need to brush your hair nice and smooth. Then you have to make a middle parting, but you can also make a side parting, whatever you prefer. Once that is done, you have to twist the front of your hair. And you basically just start at your parting and then twist until you reach your ear. And then you have to pin it down with a few bobby pins. I'm always using two or three of them. And then you just have to do the same thing for the other side. Now you have to gather all of your hair together and make a low ponytail. like so what I'm also always doing is to pull a little bit on my front twist so it gets a little bit more volume when you're done with your ponytail you have to divide it into strands and twist them around each other And now we're coming to the part that can be very struggling sometimes and that is to form the chignon on the back of your head. It's very annoying sometimes because there's always um, some hair sticking out but just try to secure everything with as many bobby pins as you need. Once everything feels safe, you are done. That is actually it. So very quick and easy to do. You may have to practice it a few times, but once you got your way through it, it is a very nice everyday hairstyle, I think. The second hairstyle is the Milkmaid braids. I absolutely love it. They have been very popular back in the 40s, so if you're going for an authentic look, they are 
perfect for you. Why do I have a pen in my hand? I don't know. There are also a few different versions, um, but I would say like the classic Milkmaid braids is just with a middle parting and the two braids on the top of your head. But I personally prefer them with a side parting and that is what I'm going to show you today. First of all, you should do a side parting or a middle parting, whatever you like. Again, that is completely your choice. If we're done with that, we again are going to twist the front sections of our hair and pin them down with some bobby pins. After that, you just have to divide your hair into two strands and braid them. Also, braiding can be so exhausting sometimes because it really takes a while for me. <laughs> Once this is done, you now have to put both of the braids on the top of your head and I'm always starting with one of them, pin them down with a bobby pin. Then I take the other braid and just put it in front of my first one and to hide the end of my braid I just tuck it under the other one. All you have to do is to just put as many 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 bobby pins in as you can. I always have like around 15 bobby pins in there so that's a lot because my hair is very heavy and I just want it to be safe. And then the Milkmaid braids are done. That is all I wanted to show you guys for today. I really hope it was helpful. If you still have any questions for me, just let me know in the comments. I'm always happy if I can help you guys. In general, if you have any recommendations, please comment down below. Um, I'm always reading through all of your comments. It really helps me to know what you guys would like to see because we are a community and I'm not always doing the videos for myself but also for you guys. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm now a real YouTuber. <laughs> I wish you a nice rest of the day and I will hopefully see you soon. Bye!